But yeah, let me make two short points. Firstly, on the dynasty argument that my friend Rashid has mentioned, it's true that the Congress has a lot of people who belong to well-known political families. But the BJP actually beats the Congress when you look at the numbers. I just need to put that in perspective. The BJP has roughly 12% of its Rat Sabha and Lok Sabha MPs who are from dynastic families, around 45 to 48 MPs. So the BJP definitely cannot lecture the Congress. In fact, they are higher in number than the Congress is. So that's a one hard truth, a mathematically accurate description. Point number two, I'm going to agree with you that the Congress is fighting with his back against the wall. Mm. It is a formidable challenge. Nobody can deny that. The Congress has a lot of catching up to do, but this is an Indian election. I can tell you, Anybody who's forecasting it, including Narendra Modi, he keeps saying 370, blah, blah, blah. I'm telling you, it's a treacherous field. You never know what's going to happen. A lot of the states, you look at what happened in Haryana today, uh, Padmaja. Hmm. Haryana is a public admission by the Bharti Ajanta Party that it's on the verge of a collapse in Haryana. And I've been hearing it for the last nine months. I have friends in Haryana who have been telling me that the Congress will probably be in the front or will should win the assembly elections after the Lok Sabha. So I think there is a lot of political fluidity. My short Fair, point is... I agree with you. There is political fluidity. Is my, question is, my question is, I am your booth worker. How do you expect me to go out there and fight the BJP or whoever else, TMC, etc.? When you don't even want to fight the election, Sanjay Jha, senior leaders, I mean, if a, if a Bupesh Sanjay. Baghel can fight from Rajnand Gaon, if a KC Venugopal can fight from Kerala, why can't all these gentlemen fight? I mean, how can Avinder Singh Lovely, who's the state president in Delhi, yeah. be asked to fight and he says, I want to campaign, I don't want to fight. Yeah. Let, let me put it across like this. It is a tough choice. I'll tell you why. Number one, there is no denying that the Congress party desperate to actually take its issues. Is I'm sure its manifesto is going to be impressive. Even in 2019, it was a great manifesto. The campaign never worked. If they are able to galvanize the people and their own workers, I think the Congress is still in the fight. Don't rule it out. I'm telling you, don't rule out the fight from in India Alliance. Things happen. It is political, I would say, minefield to believe that somebody's won lost. Uh, at the end of the day, if these leaders believe that they can actually contribute to a campaign and make others win, frankly, it's okay. a bold move. All right. So PL